Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. So today's definitely a different type of video for me today. I have an RTX A5000 mining Ethereum right next to me. I'm actually pointing the camera at the, uh, the monitor right now because the fan on the, the, uh, the GPU is a little bit loud. So when I point the camera at the GPU, it gets a little bit loud, but I will show it to you in a second. But uh, this is actually a, a pretty nice card. I've been mining cryptocurrency for a little bit now. I'm still kind of new, you know, I've got the basics down. Um, I've tried a lot of different cards, AMD and NVIDIA cards. But this one I actually wanted to try. I thought it goes under the radar a little bit. Um, so let's take a look at it. I've got it hooked up to this test PC here. I've got another little card ring. So this RTX A5000 for display ports, there's no real frills to it. Okay. All right, let's come back here so I can hopefully talk to you without the uh, the fan. So the the the, the uh, pros and cons of this unit are definitely the fan is pretty loud. Uh, so this is something you would not want in your room uh, and this is putting off quite a bit of heat uh, while I'm talking to you. I'm only using 200 and well 229 watts was the maximum uh, I believe this card can push out or for the power unit um, but for this this uh, is definitely putting out a lot of heat. Um, so it's definitely something that would need to be in a controlled environment of some kind, um, especially during the summertime. So I want to talk about the hash rates and overclock settings that I have and what I managed to find out about this card. The, the unit itself is actually a pretty no frills GPU, so there's no lights and a bunch of other stuff on it that you don't need. So it seems to me as though it's more for mining, but I would Estimate is probably between a 3080 and a 3090 for efficiency and performance. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you could let me know in the comments uh, if you if you find something a little bit better. But uh, this this unit, um, you know, they run about three thousand dollars right now, and that's that's way over MSRP. So that's something that you wouldn't necessarily be purchasing it for. I managed to get this at a really good price, so I'm happy, and that's one of the reasons why I got it. But for mining Ethereum, this was getting 87 mega hash per second. So straight out the box, no overclock settings, 87 mega hash. So I've had this now running for just about four hours, four and a half hours, I believe. And this is the uh, overclock settings that I have and the hash rate. So let's have a look at this uh, overclock settings. I do have the power down at 95%. As soon as I go below that, the hash rate does start dropping. I was able to save a, a couple of watts with the 95%, but uh, once I go below that, then the, the hash rate drops. The core, uh, right about 150, 145, 150, and then the uh, memory at uh, 1750, 1749. And I am steady, stable at 108. It's been right at 108, 107.9 for the last four hours. So I'm happy about that. I did actually push the um, GPU up to 111 mega hash, um, but it did crash on me. So I haven't pushed it past this point since. May try 1800 later on just to see how it goes. Uh, but, but I'm pretty happy with the efficiency because I'm getting 495.2 for the efficiency. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, so if you are considering this card, you're looking at about a 3080, 3090. Um, my 3080 Ti, I'm at 90, 90 mega hash. And uh, 3090 is good about 127, I believe. I don't have a 3090, so I can't actually tell you for sure. Um, but this card is nice because it's, it's, it's simple. It has a single power connection. I believe that the... There is no power that goes through the the riser. So if you have this connected to a GPU riser, I don't believe that the power will go through that. It just comes through the single connection on the GPU. 
Don't quote me on that. It's what I heard. I'm not 100% sure. But the cons of this is just that it's loud and it puts off a lot of heat. So you are going to want to put this in some kind of controlled environment. Um, but overall, actually, I, I like this card. Um, I could put this away in, in the garage or in the attic and um, hopefully forget about it and just let it mine away. Profitability wise, if you're talking about money and you want your money back on this card, uh, you've got to eat the mine here. Sorry, Ethereum, uh, uh, under Ethereum for what, uh, what to mine. And we can put in hash rate of uh, 108. Sorry, let's do that right. 108. Trying to watch the screen and keyboard at the same time. Power, I said, was it 218? So I was at 229 originally. So that 95% did, did save me a little bit. Um, which actually does, does make a difference in the profitability if, if you calculate it differently. So we're going to click on calculate here. And the profitability on this card, I'm going to try and do it without shaking. $12.07 per day. And it's going to run about $0.52 cents per day to run. So right now, today's price, this is the 16th of November. Ethereum's about $4,300. So you're talking at about $11 profit. So depending on what you can get that card for, so if you can get it from, say, 24, 20, 23, 2400, all the way up to $3,000. I think I did this math earlier. So 20, say $400. We can divide that by... Eleven dollars fifty-five cents. Two hundred and seven days it would cost you to get your money back on this card, which is uh, very, very good, I believe. Um, most cards that you you're getting elsewhere, you're, you're spending a lot of money on. So it all depends on the purchase price that you can get the card for. That's where I'm at. Um, hopefully this video has helped. If there's another overclock setting that you have that's better than this, um, if you want to do another test, uh, let us know. I haven't tested it on Hive OS, um, so that's another thing that I'll do. Most of my rigs are on Hive OS, so I will test that out as well. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Take care.